Welcome back to The Sims 4. Today we're going to be checking out a really cool mod. This is Carl's Dine Out Reloaded. Essentially, it's a mod that fixes the Dine Out game pack because it's really buggy and adds a bunch of new options like we can be the chef, we can be the waiter, we can be the host, we can do all three at once as one sim. Uh, there's a whole bunch of options. We're going to have a look at it. We're going to play with it. Carl's Dine Out Reloaded 3.0 is currently available right now in early access if you want to check it out. If not, it will be available for free for everyone on November 5th. However, today I'm actually playing Dine Out Reloaded 3.1, which will be available in early access on November 5th. So if you're a patron of Carl's, you can access the version I'm playing today on November 5th. If not, it will be free for everyone mid to late November. But honestly, I do encourage you guys, if you are interested in this, supporting Carl would be awesome because he's been making some really fantastic mods. What I would really like to do today is play as one sim, almost rags to riches style, see if we can run a restaurant and make it somewhat successful and enjoy the dine out game pack. All right, so I just built this really tiny home, which to be honest, we're probably not going to be here very much because I just wanted to spend as little money as I could while having a functional home and being able to buy a restaurant. So I think we'll go to Magnolia Promenade because we've got this empty lot here for 3,000. And I guess we'll just dump $10,000 in. So we still have a little bit of money back home if I need it for whatever reason. All right, but so far this is just dine out. So we're gonna build a little restaurant. I kind of want to almost do like a little burger joint in like a small little building. So we're gonna do something like that. Like it's gonna be small because we don't have a lot of money. So I'm thinking maybe like this big. Uh, now the things we need, we need a sink and a toilet. Basically we need a bathroom, we need a kitchen, and we need a dining area. So let's say the kitchen can be here. This is our bathroom, and then we've got the dining area here. <laughs> That's pretty much what we're gonna go with. Uh, I know we've got this giant lot, but I'm just putting it here because I think the Sims, they spawn somewhere down over here and then walk all the way up. So no point putting it further away. All right, let's make this look the part while also not spending too much money. I, I gotta be careful here. Can I use these get to work doors without wasting oh, $305? <laughs> That's a big investment when some doors are like 50 bucks. I might undo that in a minute. All right, I got some windows there. Now the interior door, let's choose, yeah, 40 bucks. Let's use this. <laughs> uh, it's a little cottagey. I don't know if it particularly suits the vibe. Oh, actually, I don't think that kitchen's big enough because I wanted to have this in the wall, but I need it to be a bit wider. Uh, can I afford to make this place bigger? Yeah, why not? And then we can have like this chef station here. So then we can easily get the meals out, which I also kind of feel is a little bit more burger jointy, you know? I've only got $3,000 left, so let's not spend too much on flooring here. I guess we could keep the free flooring, but I kind of want it to look a little bit better than that. <laughs> let's go to this like wood flooring. Actually, the kitchen should probably be something else. And maybe the bathroom too. Just do some crummy tiles. We'll get some dirty wallpaper because it's nice and cheap, two bucks. Let's get some lighting. Look, we'll make it look better if we end up earning money, okay? And we just need a bathroom, so I guess I'll just do this. It's a pretty big bathroom, probably bigger than it needs to be, but, you know, beautiful. All right, what do we need? We need a dining spot. Um, these are the cheapest tables, which, to be honest, I don't like the look of, but we're trying to save money here. Now, Carl did also tell me we should aim for a minimum of three seats on a table because sometimes the game sends three sims and then they might spread out over multiple tables and that causes issues. So we're going to try and do... Three seater tables minimum, just to hopefully not run into that issue. All right, we got some cheap folding chairs. So we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do three seater tables. I think just like this. Maybe this one can just sort of tuck more in there and that can go down there. And then this leaves plenty of room to expand, expand with more tables in this beautiful restaurant. <laughs> All right, we need a waiter station, which I'm gonna put this in the kitchen area because I don't think we need it out in the open. And then we do need a host station, which annoyingly I don't, it just doesn't really make sense for a burger joint, but we've got to have it. Um, I'm going to just chuck this here. I want this one. Annoyingly, it's more expensive than the other one, but I'm going to pop that there. That kind of blends in a little bit. We can really afford another table, actually. I might get a third table. Look at this. You know what? We might be able to afford some, like, menus, too. Just just for good looks. All right, we're kind of like a burger joint. Oh, none of these are really burgers. <laughs> Isn't there one? Maybe it's in... Is it in Get to Work, not Dine Out? So there's like a menu board. Oh, okay, I don't know where it is, hang on. Oh, unless it's like a wall decoration actually. Yeah, yeah, here we go, all right. Wait, how much is this? Oh, it's only 200 bucks, that's okay. None of them really look like burger joint menus, but I guess I'll just pick one of them. There you go, beautiful menu. All right, then maybe we'll leave, we'll leave $1,000 here. And like, let me get some free flooring. Just grab this, just to bring this up to the edge of the lot. There we go, look at that, beautiful. <laughs> all right, now I'm also going to set our menu and uniforms. I think I'm just gonna go with some of these default ones here. So I'm gonna set that one. 
The waiter, I don't know that we'll hire a waiter because we don't really need to. Host, okay, we definitely don't need to be wearing these. Okay, none of these are really casual enough for a burger place. Kind of just needs to look like the waiter uniform. But again, I don't know that we're gonna hire a host, so I'm just gonna set those, whatever. Customer attire. <laughs> yeah, every day, that's fine. All right, custom menu. Oh, I need to choose edit custom menu, here we go. All right, drinks. All right, we got lemonade, we got some black, black coffees, uh, and we just got some sodas. That's kind of all I've picked, actually, did I deselect water? I feel like we should have water. <laughs> where, did, where did water go? Or is that just a default all the time? Oh yeah, no, it's just default, that's fine. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, appetizer. Uh, I mean, if we're a burger joint, <laughs> slice of cheese. No, we need, okay, none of these really go, but I, th I'm, actually, do we even have to pick, do I? Do I even have to pick something? that Maybe I don't have to, let me just skip that. All right, main course. All right, we're gonna do like hot dogs and burgers. So I've got a hot dog. There's another hot dog. No, there's hot dogs. There's hot dog and hot dogs. <laughs> okay. There we go. Hamburger as well. Mmm, pizza sells for quite a lot of money. The thing is that stuff I'm choosing as well is pretty cheap, so it might not make us a lot of money. All right, that's that. Let's go vegetarian options too. We go veggie burger, tofu dog, veggie dog. Do they have like fish? They have haddock sandwich. Like a fish burger maybe? Oh, we can just do this. Let's do the sandwich. And then, well, what about, hey, we need like fries. I don't know if that's in any of those categories. So we could also do chicken sliders actually and hamburger sliders. Oh, grub dogs. Lactose free, let's go. You know what, having every like expansion pack that adds food, there's so much more options now than there used to be in here. <laughs> Should we just also sell like nigiri? Just, just me in the back room preparing sushi, not knowing what I'm doing. That seems like a good idea. Are there not fries in this? I thought there was. I mean, there's fries and sides in some of these, but I guess maybe it's not a thing. All right, whatever. And dessert, uh, I guess probably like ice cream, right? I might just select all the ice creams. Not gonna do sorbet because, well, actually, hang on. I probably shouldn't select all of them. We're a tiny little place. Maybe we should have the really boring flavors. Chocolate, strawberry, just need vanilla. Here we go, vanilla. <laughs> we have three ice cream flavors, the most basic. All right, this is our menu. I think that's good, right? I don't think I need appetizer. Okay, that's done, that's done. All right, oh, we should probably also name it. It's called Burgers and Buns for some reason, <laughs> even though we obviously sell other stuff, but. Okay, so now let's actually get into the mod. So this is the cool stuff. So first up, what we're gonna do, enter the cheat testing cheats on. Then if we shift click on the ground while we're here at the restaurant, we're gonna get an option to go into dine out settings. And this is a bunch of stuff added with Carl's mod. So we can customize exactly how we want this restaurant to run, which is really cool. So first up, maximum waiting dining groups. This is a feature of the 3.1, which will be out mid to late November for free or early access around the 5th of November for patrons. So this helps if you have like a really popular restaurant, but not enough tables. So you don't have like 10 different groups of people waiting to be seated. So I'm actually gonna set this to one. There we go. So I'm gonna set it to one. That means if we have three different groups seated, and there's someone else wanting to come to the restaurant, only one additional group will come, so then we don't have to worry about a huge queue and we won't get stressed out. Now, this is a really cool setting as well. Hosts walk guests to seat. So basically, in regular dine-out, you need a host of the restaurant who will be you know, standing around this guy here, then the guests will come talk to the host, and then the host will walk them to a table. We can completely turn off that feature so we don't need a host, and the guests will just pick a table, which makes it much more like, a small restaurant place, especially something like this, I wouldn't imagine having to go in, wait, like see someone for a seat. It's kind of like cafe style, you know? So I'm gonna turn that off. So hosts will merely greet guests and not walk them to their seats. So I, we don't even really need a host. And then this here as well, guests seat themselves, sort of works in conjunction with this. So at the moment, if we have this set up, we'll still need a host to like assign them a table, but they will go to the seat without the host. So we're gonna say guests seat themselves on. So they will walk in and just pick a table. And we can also tell them to pick up their own food when it's ready, which I'm gonna try that. Cause that means they'll pick a table. And then once I cook the food, they will come grab the food themselves and sit down. And this is a, okay, this is cool. <laughs> All these settings are so cool. Player counts as chef. So if we turn this on, we will be the chef of the restaurant and we will need to do the cooking. So we're gonna be doing that for sure. And then we've also got this, waiters take orders. While in player owned restaurant, active waiters will take orders. If we turn it off, this means we don't need a waiter, but it means I have to go to the table and see what they wanna order. So we can basically try and run this whole thing myself with no staff. Uh, and waiters deliver food. So I'm gonna turn that off because that sort of works alongside Diners pick up meal. I don't know how well all this is gonna work. I'm messing with so many settings, but we're gonna see. And finally, Sims eat politely. Makes Sims take a bit longer to eat, but only while in restaurants. And if we turn it off, 
Seems they'll eat as fast as they normally do while in a restaurant. So we'll just leave that under default. All right, so we've got all these settings. I don't have any staff. Let's just open and see what happens. It says it's not functional, but it should still work. So I'm gonna go cook order as a chef. So what should happen? We should see some people eventually spawn over here, walk into the restaurant, seat themselves. Oh yeah, look at my outfit. <laughs> yeah. Although that's not really my chef outfit. So I don't know, whatever. Oh wait, is it? Is that what I said? Oh no, it is. It totally is what I said. Oh wait, no, hey, these didn't save. It's cause I did it in build mode maybe, I don't know. Cause I actually set those ones, but maybe it didn't save from build mode. Doesn't really matter. Cause I mean, whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, here we go. So we've got our first patron, Dominic, come on down. So he'll come in. Oh, we've got another guest as well. Meredith, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so they'll come in. They'll be like, hmm, I will sit here. Check that, seating themselves. And he's gonna whip out the menu. I don't know at which point they're ready to... I can take my, I can take the order right now. I'm just gonna be like, hey, what's your order? Okay, so they're checking. Hey guys, welcome to Burgers and Buns. I'm the chef, host, and waiter, Samaj. Uh, what can I get you? Burger? In a bun? Now that I can do. All right, now we go back to cook orders as a chef. That should have our first order coming through. Here's our second guest, our second group of guests, I should say. Samaj is cooking. Oh, hello. All right, so they will probably sit down and keep taking an order until I go up and actually take their order. We could hire a waiter to help us out. Uh-oh, we've got Judith Ward here. Can I even talk to her? No, I can't, that's good. <laughs> All right, once we've done this order, I'm gonna go take orders of both those tables. Okay, so I think, are we done here? Yeah, so that's gone up. I wanna see, will they get up and come get this? Oh yeah, they're coming to get their order. That's so cool. All right, let me go take these orders. And then we've also got Jeffrey, sorry, not Jeffrey, <laughs> Bjorn waiting for a table. So this should be, I think these guys are in the same group because we should only have one group waiting. Oh, did you guys, you guys already pay? You guys can eat if you want. All right, let me take this order as well. Hey guys, take order. This place is popping off. <laughs> All right, Meredith, can you uh, please sit down? Oh, you got a root beer float? Sweet. All right, so I've got two orders now. Let's go do those. So we should be preparing both of these tables in a row now. So I guess they already paid before like, they finished their food, which is fine by me because we get the money. I'm happy with that. This is actually really cool because that's kind of the one thing in Dine Out where it's like you run a restaurant, but like you have to hire every job yourself and you can't do any of it yourself. In this case, it means we can run a restaurant on a shoestring budget. Like I don't have to pay any staff or anyone. I just have to cook, which I guess, am I earning any cooking skill from this? I have some skills, which I didn't have before doing this. So I am earning skills. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, that went up a lot actually. All right, so we got one tables orders here. I'm not sure whose it is. Oh yeah, it's yours. There we go. So yeah, we are earning skills from doing this. So we will actually get better, which is good. I mean, hopefully the food will actually be good quality. Like what did I prepare here? This is actually any good. Normal quality, it's not bad. Cream cola, hamburger. Yeah, they're all normal, which is great. Okay, and then I gotta, are you guys gonna leave? Or you guys want dessert or what's the deal with this? I don't have any options to manage them, so I think they're done here. Hey, level two mixology and level two gourmet cooking. All right, so your food is ready. Now, can I take reservation? No, 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 let me clean up. How do I clean? Oh, I guess I'm gonna use a bathroom sink. I didn't really prepare a kitchen. All right, so these guys are done. So hopefully now I clean up. These guys should just sit here. All right, so I've got the plates. I guess I'm gonna go to, oh wait, no, I go to the waiter station. That's right, that's right, that's fine. All right, guys, you may be seated. Or do you want me to, uh, I, I can welcome you guys. I just welcome you guys. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Burgers and Buns. We also serve uh, hot dogs and buns. Pretty cool. Let me go talk to the other people. I'm gonna welcome all you guys. Welcome. Just to try and get our, uh, you know, our rating up. They have seated, which is great. So we'll take that order after I've spoken to the other groups. How's everything going here, guys? Is it good? Yeah, 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 yeah. What can I get you? A burger? In a bun? <laughs> Oh, we've got another guest already. Yeah, yeah, they come through quick. So as far as I'm aware, we can also have like, if we had other Sims in our household, we can play the other jobs. Um, oh, are you guys wanting to get dessert or something? What's going on here? Cause they are, they're saying they're waiting a long time, but uh, I can't do anything. So they might actually be done. I'm not sure. They seem happy. These guys are done as well. They've just finished up. So I've got to clean up some tables here in a second. All right, so there's that one. Let's go clean up. We've got a lot of junk going on here. How's it, how are we actually going? Made $93, not a lot to be honest, running this restaurant. <laughs> Sorry guys, let me just get those plates out of your way there. Thank you, thank you, all good, all good. <laughs> we are one and a half stars though, which is pretty sweet. All right, let me, uh, you know, I'm gonna welcome you guys. I feel like maybe I need to talk to people a little bit more. Oh, we got some more people coming down now as well. Oh, you guys didn't have to get up. You can. Oh, okay, uh, all right. Oh, this time I decided to use a sink to wash up. Interesting, okay. Hey guys, welcome. How's everything going? It's all good? How's your, how was your food? Was it good? Hope so, hope so. All right, let me take your order and I'm gonna take your order. We'll get these two orders going at the same time. Actually, you know what? No, 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 I can't cancel it. I was gonna say, I wanna welcome them and then take the order, but whatever. Hey guys, 
What's going on? You know what? I'll just say welcome right now. Oh yeah, we've got three star review. I'm gonna clean up this and then I'm gonna go back to being a chef. <laughs> Probably have, look, having a waiter might be a good investment though. I don't know how much it's gonna cost us because I'm only earning $167 right now. Which is not a lot. And if I had a waiter working here as well, it could be rough. <laughs> All right, let's get back to cooking. You guys also should take a seat in a minute, which is good. I mean, so far I feel like everything is working flawlessly. Like this mod is so cool to be able to run a restaurant like this. It kind of makes me want to do an actual let's play with restaurants again. Cause when we originally did our dine out let's play series ages ago, it was tough because I mean, yeah, the bugs just piled up. So <laughs> the fact that this is running a lot smoother is very nice. All right, so I think I have to take your order, don't I, afterwards? Oh, okay, I've just stopped cooking midway. That's all right, we'll go back. All right, guys, it's gonna be a little bit of a wait. I'm actually gonna say disallow new customers because I think, how, how my needs, oh, actually my needs are like fine. Oh, I guess it's only 148. You know, it feels like it's been a long time because I'm not fast forwarding because I'm so used to trying not to fast forward in restaurants. Hey, uh, guys. Um, Okay, you didn't want your food? <laughs> All right, see ya. So I think because this mod is still being worked on and Carl actually has his own setting for, you know, how many people are waiting. I think maybe I should have set that to none rather than the host station. So, but you know, whatever. So <laughs> those guys just left without their food, but they'll be fine. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna say, what if I say allow new customers? So we're kind of open again. And then I set this to none. So then we shouldn't have anyone else waiting. But that's fine. I think they still paid me. So, you know, whatevs. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. All right, so I'm okay. You guys, uh, you guys have got your food. I've just prepared. I think whose food is this? That might have been the people that just left. <laughs> so I don't really know. Wait, did I take your order? Yeah, actually, no. I think that's their food. All right, and then I gotta go take your order. All right, what can I get you guys? Some burgers. Now, yeah, there is a thing here. I guess maybe. What if I just serve it manually? Who's this gonna go to? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was the food of the people that left. So I think that's what that was. That's okay. That's okay. You know, these things happen. Uh, okay, welcome these guys. I think I got your order. I'm not sure, but you know, whatevs. We'll go back to the chef station. Oh, there's their food. Okay, they just... Oh, yes, we're two stars. Let's go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take any more orders, even though I think someone new will show up. I don't want to click this button again because I feel like that kind of messed with stuff. So we're just going to close after this one. Level three mixology, level three gourmet cooking. Epic. So you guys are going to grab that. All right. So after this, I'm going to, you know, I'll let, I'll let you guys eat. Uh, and then I'm going to close up. I think we need to get more expensive food in here because as, as great as Berg. Oh, Agatha. Yeah. Agatha's coming. Who's she coming with? Shigeru. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Samaj, clean that up, please. Thank you. Sorry. You guys are actually never going to get an order taken. Can I, can I ask you to leave? No, that's all right. We'll just close. Also, this person's still here. They... We're in that group that sort of didn't eat that food and just left, but um, can, I, can I ask you to leave? Friendly, uh, oh, Sim is already leaving, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, they actually are, okay, great. Oh, hey guys, don't mind me, I'm just gonna come in, thanks, I'll grab that. <laughs> All right, if you guys could uh, wrap it up, that'd be great. All right, they're off, great, go clean that up. Yeah, you guys are gonna be, oh, you cross-stitching here? That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's clean up. Are you guys done or what's going on here? I think so. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything. So I think they've actually finished. Oh, we've got another group of people. That's all right. Okay, they're, they're done. So they should, uh, yep, they've just done their little review thing. And we're gonna close. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. We were open nine hours, which is actually, it feels like it wasn't. Oh, it is like 5 p.m. now. Dang, okay. 15 customers served. Cost of ingredients, 277. Meal profits, 330. Look, not bad, but I think we can earn more. So we're at two stars now, baby. Let's hit save. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's scrap this menu. We're no longer burgers and buns. What's the most expensive? Does it just go up in price? I think so. I think as we scroll down, it gets more expensive. Five, now, I'm not great at cooking, but can I just pick these things and see what happens? Oh, let's do bangers and mash. Oh, let's become like a British pub for some reason in this place. I can't believe bangers and mash is $81. That's kind of nice. Let's do faux meat and mash, vegetarian option. That's good. Oh, Monte Cristo sandwich, yes, please. And meatless. Do a ham dinner, steak, blue steak, rack of lamb. We're just doing expensive meat cuts now, pretty much. Oh, cricket meal. <laughs> Yum. Let's so make sure we have, let's do blackened bass, barbecue ribs. Oh, it could be like a barbecue joint. That'd be kind of cool. All right, I need some <laughs> grand breakfast, grand omelet. I need more like vegetarian options. Hang on, this is good vegetarian. What's the most expensive here? We got a couple options, omelet, but that's not, we kind of need like a faux meat pie. Yum, all right, good enough. All right, these are our, op that's a lot of options. Much more expensive. Drinks is fine, whatever, I'll leave those. What expensive desserts can we get? Cow plant essence meringue pie, yum. 
Let's serve a chocolate souffle. No, let's, let's serve stuff that I could potentially actually do. And by that, I'm, oh, pure perfection cone, $67. Yes. Lactose free cheesecake and a cheesecake. There we go. We'll just do those three. All right, this is expensive. Our prices have just gone through the roof. We're going to say price market still 125%. We're not going to charge too much because, you know, I, these are probably not going to sell well because I'm not a good chef. Also, my mood is like, has it changed at all? Oh, it is going now. I feel like, did it like not change while I was the chef? I don't know. What I am going to do though, I'm going to hire, I know we don't have to hire someone, but I'm going to hire a waiter just so I don't have to do all the cleaning up and stuff. Where the heck do I hire people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> waiter. Okay, who's good at waiting? <laughs> Creature creeper. Let's get him. All right, so you're my waiter. All right, let's just open up. That's all good. Hey, man, what can I do to you? I don't really remember how restaurants work. Restaurant sim. Okay, well, I manage, pay for training, check up on criticized fire. You know what? I'm going to. Oh, I don't really have money for that. No, I'm not going to do that. You, I'll praise you. Welcome welcome to the team, buddy. Will you clean up for me? Should we get it? Maybe we should get another table, actually. Let's like really cram these guys in like sardines. Can I get another table? This is probably going to go poorly. <laughs> I don't think I can really get another one in without maybe move objects. I could probably get more chairs at a single table. I think we need to expand the building probably because oh, oh, I can get two here. But like I said earlier, I think we need a minimum of three. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful. Should we maybe like spruce up the walls a bit? Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Can we get some like flooring? Oh yeah, it didn't cost anything. How much for like the, the waiter door? Cause those are cool like this. 105, getting it. We won't do that for the bathroom cause having a window is probably not ideal. All right, that was worth the investment. So you're gonna get a little, uh, little mirror there. Oh, did it close again? Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to despawn cause I just want it to reset. You know what, actually it's 5 p.m. Let's come back tomorrow. Let's go back home and we'll come back in the morning. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna hang out here uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, we're back. Fresh day, 4.50 a.m. Pro probably a little early to open up. Let's um get rid of that glass. I think I might add in a little bit more money because I think, well, let's get some decorations. Maybe a, just a little bit. It's a little, it's a little drab in here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, don't they have all those little table things from Dine Out? Yeah, like the salt and pepper shakers and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of fancy. Do they have one that's like more diner-like or is that another pack? Oh yeah, this from, I guess it's from Outdoor Retreat. Oh, that's actually huge. That's going to take up too much room. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted like a sauce bottle and stuff, but that's a little big. So I guess I'll just use the Dine Out ones. The one that kind of doesn't look as fancy. So I feel like this is like super fancy. And we're just not that kind of restaurant. Speaking of which, we should do different colored chairs to make it more fun. Yeah, look at this. We're upgrading. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to put these on the edge of the table that has no seat just so it doesn't get in the way. I think it should be okay there and hopefully still allow like all the plates and stuff to be on the table. I think we'll see. Is this in the way? There we go. <laughs> this menu is just behind where these people sit. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, what dine out like wall decorations do we have? Should we get, let's get some of the, are these? Oh yeah, they add environment. We're going to make this place look great. I'm going to get all three of these. So we're going to do a fish, even though we don't really have these things on the menu, but you know. Just to add to the vibe. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. How much were those? $315 each. Good Lord. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go. I mean, this looks great. I think this looks so much better. It's kind of fun. All right. So we've cleaned up, I think. Should be all good. What are you doing? Gonna go play in the rain. No, 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 no. Let's open. All good. Okay. Our guy is here. Creature Creeper is here. I'm gonna cook orders as a chef. So, oh yeah. Our needs decay. Apparently that's a bug that Carl already fixed. So. In the version I have, it's my needs are going to be stuck as I'm the chef. Because I think if you hire a chef, their needs will be frozen essentially, but you don't normally see that, so it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, in, in the actual one, it will go down, so that's all good. <laughs> You're right, running in from the rain. Hey, welcome. Welcome to... Oh, I didn't change the name of this place. So, wait, do you take orders as a waiter or do I have to take orders? Because I'm not sure if that's a waiter's job or the host's job. I might still have to take orders. I'm not sure. That could be a little rough. Might have to or uh, not order. I might have to hire a chef. All right, well, I'm going to go take orders. I'm just going to do that now real quick. Now, how many... We have maximum dining groups waiting. I'm going to set that to one. So we'll have hopefully a full restaurant and then one additional person waiting. All right, what can I get you today? <laughs> I'm not a great chef, so don't expect anything top quality, but I can get you some good food coming in here. Okay, are you gonna get up and leave? No, I think they're just hanging out. Oh, I think that I think people are scared maybe because of the weather uh, or something else. I don't know, but they'll be fine. Okay, let's get back to being a chef. So the waiter, we still haven't set that people will collect the food. So the waiter shouldn't do that. 
But what he should hopefully do is what I'm hoping anyways, he cleans up. Because me having to clean up as well, especially if there's this many tables, it's gonna be a little rough. Oh, Agatha is back to check out the new menu. I probably should have changed the name of this place, hey. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> I'm curious to see what everyone ordered. All right, so the first order is up. There you go. And I'm going to start preparing the next one. Oh my gosh, we've got so many people here. So this is up here. They go. They're coming to grab their order. Got another two groups. So after I've done this one, I'm going to go take the orders of these two. All right, you've got... What did you get? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm not surprised. This restaurant chef, Samaj Renner, needs more training. to cook everything on the menu. To avoid poor quality meals, choose lower difficulty. It's all right. We'll learn on the job. All right, what did we cook? Ooh, poor quality Monte Cristo. And a meatless poor quality one. Normal quality Americana though. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this makes them angry with their food. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. I think I need to hire a host just to take the orders. Or is there an option? Was there an option for that? Oh, waiters take orders. That's the option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I need to do. There we go. So hopefully that works right away. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, good. I thought there was an option for that. I, I don't know why. I should have checked that earlier. All right, so now he'll go around, take everyone's orders, and also clean up after them. Okay, we've got a couple of people waiting to be seated as well. We've got a proper celebrity in the house. Now, it's okay. My skill is going to get better as I'm doing this. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, this place is popping off. All right, let's just see if we can keep up with all of this, because... I'm preparing food now. How much do I skill up from this after I prepared a meal anyway? Okay, you're taking more orders, which is great. Thanks, buddy. Oh, how's your food actually? What do you guys get? You got a steak. Hey, normal quality. That's actually not bad. And we've got ham dinner, normal quality. So they have a good meal. Monte Cristo sandwiches, not so much. All right, we've got a new order up. I like how we have a waiter and he just doesn't serve the food. I guess I could get him to do that too, but I just like that the guests have to get up and do it. I don't know. I kind of like that. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little awkward. Hey! Whose is this? Why is there orange juice on the floor? All right, so we've skilled up a little bit. So I think we get, an, at least on level three, we're getting about 20% skills here. All right, let's see how your food turned out. We've got uh, normal rack of lamb, normal ham. You know what? That's fine. That's pretty good. Our profits are not great. $51. I suppose because I haven't actually left yet. Oh, what do you guys get? Oh, yeah. Blue steak, normal. Okay, so the only bad food we did was for you guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. A look, a little rusty. Oh, yes. $354 profit. Let's go! I guess, did someone finish and pay? Or not? I don't know. Everyone's still kind of here, so I'm not really sure. Level four and level four. Oh, you got your food too. Hey, I'm cranking out these meals. Okay. What do you, oh, you guys got some steak as well. Blue steak, blue steak. Excellent quality. Look at that. Okay, that's great. Those are both excellent. All right, you guys are done. 434 or 438 meal profit, I should say. Now, I'm also going to say, not that. I'm going to go into my settings and say we're not going to have any groups waiting. And we are just going to, I guess... Wait till most of these people clear out. <laughs> then, then we'll see how we went for the day. I mean, compared to regular dine out, not only can we actually be the chef, be the waiter, be the host, set it up how we want, but it's also working. Like we're serving food, people are eating it and not like glitching out and never getting their food, which is pretty epic. I mean, look at this. Look at all this food that we're getting here. Okay, so these guys are all done. So I guess we're just going to be serving you guys. I just need to make sure I'm, I'm not sure if we've already got their order or not. No, so when there's no order and I click, uh, cook a chef, he won't cook, so we just haven't got that order yet. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be serving you, <laughs> Jenna. I'm gonna serve these guys. Uh, hmm. Did he, wait, do we have their order? Hang on, let me check. Hang on, let me, let me clean up some of this mess on here. Oh, I don't have a bin, so it's just going on the floor. Is that cool? <laughs> I don't think, have you guys taken, have you guys got your order yet? Hmm. I think because the chef takes the order, I can't take the order. Is that, is that the deal? Okay, I don't think people are liking the trash on the floor. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'll just put it out there. Hey! Oh, I guess I wanted to build my... Oh my gosh! Oh, wait. No, that's fine. Wait, I only paid $10 for the waiter? Oh, it's only 9.36 a.m. That's why. <laughs> yeah, because I think it's $2 an hour. Poor guy. Uh, okay. Well, that's pretty good. Net profit, $4.28. I don't mind that. Sorry, guys. That's it. Let's um use that sweet, sweet profit out here. Oh. <laughs> I can't afford the... I just wanted to get a dumpster out back because that's so restauranty. Get some more of my own money here. Here we go. Hang on, let me move these. I'm gonna get a dumpster. I'm going to move the weight station to here. I'm gonna grab, oh wait, actually the door can't go there. Put the dumpster on this side, then I can put the door here. There we go, so they can come out to the dumpster. We'll make it look a little bit rough. Yeah! Uh, now, actually what I do wanna do as well, lock door for everyone but employees, cause I, I don't want guests walking through here. All right, I'm also gonna put on, we're gonna run one more day and I'm gonna just update the mod so that I have the version with the, the working needs. Okay, let's uh, throw away all this junk now that we have a dumpster. Uh-oh. Sharing a caring... <sighs> stupid... <laughs> stupid eco-living, eco-lifestyle. Sharing is caring is in the lead. Oh, jeez. I, I don't want people stealing my sweet restaurant. All right. So now let's open up the restaurant again 
You're back. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to say we're going to turn off diners, pick up the meal because I just want the waiter to do that. Might as well do that. Waiter takes order and waiter delivers food. Yes. So I'm going to turn that back on. So then the waiter just has more to do now as well. Okay, so far it looks like my needs are decaying, which I guess is good. Let's go work as chef, even though no one's really here, but I'm gonna prepare. Yeah, yeah, the, need, the needs are definitely going now. I, I'm curious to see how rough I am at the end of this day. Hey guys, welcome. Take a seat anywhere. We'll come out and take your order when you're ready. Ah, oh, Thorn Bailey, what's going on? You know what? I'm gonna go welcome you. Welcome to the restaurant. We do like celebrities here at Bur Oh, I should change it. I really gotta change the name of this place. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll check on the table. How, how you guys going? You going good? Welcome to my restaurant. Trust everything is going well. <laughs> so welcome you guys as well and uh, check on table. Oh, you guys. Let's have a random orange juice on the floor which I'm gonna get rid of. Don't worry, I'll get that. Welcome. I hope to hear you're having a great meal. <laughs> it's like we haven't ordered yet. <laughs> All right, let's go back to chef. All right, so I think... Did he take an order? I don't know what that guy just did, but... All right, so here we are, preparing a meal. I think we've got the orders of both these tables now. The, the ones that first arrived, which is great. All right, there's order number one. The waiter should deliver this one. So guests no longer have to uh, go out up and get it themselves. I mean, after he takes this table's order, obviously. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so he's grabbing that, delivering it. What'd you guys order? Well, so I definitely feel like I should pay you... Oh no, did I deliver crap food? Poor quality. Ooh, poor quality. Normal quality though. Sorry, I'm doing my best back here, guys. <laughs> All right, what else can I do? Actually, I need to, yeah. So I would like to, we could probably promote you. I'm going to pay for training. And I'm also going to promote you just to make you feel good about yourself. Eventually, I'm just busy cooking right now. Okay, I don't have time to promote you. <laughs> I'm just busy cooking and you're serving the food. Uh-oh. Yeah, we should probably stop selling the Monte Cristos because those are rough. Though my skill's getting better. You know, every meal. Every meal is pretty good. Okay, are you gonna... Okay, I'm, I'll deliver this one. He seems to be busy. Hey guys, got your food for you. There you go. Hey, rating increase level three! All right, um, I kind of want... I don't know why this guy is not... Uh, I'm gonna promote you anyway. Promote and uh, pay for training, please. Where am I going? See what's happening. No, no, it's okay. Okay, let me just wiggle my way through the restaurant. Hey, buddy. You've been doing great. You're gonna get... Pro uh oh, they're down to two stars. I mean, your food was pretty crap, so... <laughs> I kind of don't blame you for that one. All right, cook order, chef. Now, can you go back to cleaning up, please? We got, like, a bunch of tables that are rough out there, dude. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have promoted him. Yeah, my needs are definitely... Oh, my rating went down, but then it went back up. Okay. I think he started trying to clean up as well. Oh, Katrina! Yeah! All right, so, all right I, got, I got the clean up here. See, now I'm getting hungry. Can I make myself some food? <laughs> oh my gosh. Not a- oh, I don't have a fridge. Fair enough. Oh wait, when I go into build mode, doesn't it close my restaurant? Got a really crappy fridge in here. Yeah, it closes. That's okay. Made $402. That's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, this makes dine out a whole different experience. The fact that you can run a restaurant yourself without having to hire anyone. Like, we can do everything ourselves. I mean, I just hired the waiter to help a little bit, but we could even have less tables in this and still run a restaurant that gets a higher rating. Obviously, it'll take longer to get more reviews, but I think this is really cool. And if you want to support Carl for making this mod, please do check out his Patreon. Not only this Dine Out mod, but he's got a bunch of other mods as well that are basically improving the game, doing bug fixes, which, I mean, obviously he shouldn't have to. The Sims team should probably do this kind of stuff. But the fact that he's doing it and it's working so well, I think it's so awesome. And this is actually so much fun. If you want to see me running some more restaurants, please let me know in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.